speaking of the World Cup football, a famous coach once said is not a matter of life and death, but it's far more important. Well, this was certainly the case for Or Haner, an Israeli community in the path of Gaza rocket fire, uh, which took time off from the war last night to focus on the World Cup final. I-24 News reporter Uri Shapira joined them. Oraner, a small collective community only a few kilometers from Gaza, has suffered from the unstoppable rocket strikes of the last few days. But for its residents, the real battle took place on Sunday night as they gathered to watch and support the Argentinian national team in the World Cup final to the sound of explosions and sirens. We've lived in this tough reality of missile attacks for over 14 years, on and off. The World Cup, however, is something which happens once in four years, so we must find a way to combine the two. Oraner is made up primarily of Argentinian Jews, who came here to watch this dramatic match against Germany. Politicians and celebrities came from Jerusalem and Tel Aviv to support the team, as well as to support the residents. Every day we hearing the bombing and the, the very emergency situation, and here today it's like very different, very happy, sport, love, and uh, to be together, it's a very, very nice time. Even Finance Minister Yair Lapid found a break in his busy schedule to pop over and watch the game. And unlike the politicians, some guests do not have instant solution to the ongoing Gaza violence. I'm a great believer in the positive thinking and I'm a very spiritual person. I believe in the power of prayer too, but um, I'm not a miracle worker. And I will leave that to the politicians to sort out. The opening minutes of the game were quite promising for Argentina. The diehard fans were quick to celebrate Gonzalo Higuain's goal which was ruled offside a few seconds later. After 120 minutes, including extra time, the Argentinian team left the field without the precious cup. Indeed, a devastating defeat for the residents who expected one upmanship over their bitter enemy, Brujail, a neighboring community of mainly Brazilian immigrants. <laughs> Life goes on, what can I say? Football is a simple game. 22 people chasing a ball, and in the end, Germany wins. After a long, intense battle, the residents are going to sleep. True, Messi and the Albi Celeste did not deliver, but at least they left the pitch with pride. And on Monday, residents of Oranair returned to their daily routine and the real challenge, the rocket fire coming from Gaza.